para fazer <risos> <risos> It is very popular to knit. Everyone is knitting, both men and women. But not everyone knows how the yarn is made. I want to show you how it's done. The oldest way of making yarn is using wool from the sheep. Here are my sheep waiting for their haircut. In Iceland, we have many different colors in our flock of sheep, and I use every color naturally. That is, I use the color from each sheep in the color the animal provides. So the brown yarn comes from a brown sheep, the gray yarn comes from a gray sheep, and so on. The sheep grows thick and nice wool every year, and it needs to be cut off their body so that the animal feels good. When cutting their wool, they are not harmed or hurt, and they don't feel any pain. Cutting the wool is called shearing, and nowadays it is done by professional shearers who know exactly what they are doing and are quick and accurate. Both the sheep and the wool looks good after shearing. Then we take the wool to the mill to spin it into yarn. And in this case, it is just a few steps away in the next house. This is just straight from the sheep, coming from the barn over there. And I weigh the one kilo. This is a little bit too much. I'm just gonna have a little bit more than one kilo in there. And then I put another kilo in the next compartment. And I can put black and brown. It doesn't mix in the washer. and the black in the same compartment. Now I put the soap in and we let, it, uh, we let the wool soak for an hour in soap and water. This is just like baking, 200 milliliters of soap and it's ready to soak. 52 minutes, set the clock. And then I can go and do something else while it's washing. The washing machine is very small. It takes three kilos for wool. And when it's finished, it's not felted. It's just uh, ready to be worked with. And we take it out here 
and put it in a shelf where it will dry overnight and tomorrow it will be ready to work with. And when the wool is dry, I take a basket and I put the wool into the basket. All of the wool. And uh, now it's dry and ready to be picked. And I take it to the picker, which is here. And I just put the wool on the belt here. I lay it evenly and I take everything out that is not supposed to be there. I want this yarn to be black. So if there is something not black in the wool, I take it away. And then I turn it on. The picker is not breaking or cutting the fiber, it's just opening it up so it's easier for the next machine to work with it. So every machine here is very gentle and does this carefully because they are very small. Uh, when the wool has been picked we take it out of this cabin over there and we take it to the fiber separator. The fiber separator is taking away the longer hair, the coarser hair. So we are just working with the fine hair. But some of the coarser hair we want to have in the yarn to make it stronger. And I just spread it on the belt here. Not too much. And the heavier things are going down and the lighter hair are going through the machine. And that is what I work with. And you can see on the other end what is happening over there. So let me show you. the fiber separator is done, we take the wool and we go with it to the carter and we put 100 gram on the belt there between the blue lines. This is, this has to be even so the yarn will be as even as we can. So I spread it out and since we don't use any chemicals when we are working, there are sometimes a little bit of statics in the wool. And to work with that, I just spray a little bit of water. A tiny little bit. And then I turn on the carder and the carder is taking the wool, carding it together and making a rowing. And the rowing I use to spin from.
When the barrel is full, I take it to the next machine. This is the draw frame. And this one is taking two and two together, two and two rowings, and making them more even, and also laying the hair all in the same direction. And this one is calculating the meters, and I just turn on. This is the spinner, or the spinning machine, or the spinning wheel. It's built like the old spinning wheel which we used to spin on in the old days, and it has the same idea in function. So, for a closer look, this would be my hands that are drawing the wool asunder, and here is the single thread coming, being spun here, and wrapping around the bobbin, or the spindle, and going up and down, and this would be my feet. Now this is not just one spinning wheel, so it's more effective than I am, because this is times 12. When the spinner has done its job and we have had the single, then we take two and two together to ply the yarn into one, and then it's ready to knit with. Sometimes we ply with three or four or more, but most often we do it with two. And this one is also working in this way, taking the yarn from the spindle and putting it up onto another one. Here it's working in the opposite direction from the spinner because we are spinning in one way and then we ply it into the other way. Here are the two threads that have been plied together. And this has been done in this machine. When the single thread has been plied together with two or three threads, the yarn is ready to knit from and we can make something nice to wear from it. I hope you like this introduction. Thank you for watching and happy knitting.